I want to show you this BAF. BAF is a badass Ferrari box. And the reason it's a badass Ferrari box is because it's super simple, integrates its uh, 110 inch carbon illusion backfiring. This goes between the seats, behind the seats with a quick disconnect plug. It's all carpeted. Um, this is kind of just to make it look good. This is uh, OEM carpeting here, and if anybody has worked with it, you know this stuff is about as stretchable as sheetrock. So getting it around this contour without a seam was a, a bit of a challenge. So this is actually the mounting bracket that we have in there. And this is literally just a simple, less is more um, vinyl that matches what's in the interior already. We've got yellow stitching, we've got Ferrari logos, we've got all that stuff. So we didn't really want to overdo it. And if you look inside there, there's a custom bracket that no modifications to the car. There's absolutely no modifications to the car. This bracket was welded on here and then bolts into the factory bolts. There's two screws you take out, it's rock solid, and then the box actually bolts to that. And then there's a quick disconnect that just tugs behind the panel here. And um, yeah, the box basically just sits here. And if you give me a minute, I'll put it in. So a couple of things I want to point out is uh, A, the way it fits. So this contour is derived directly from the contour of the seat, which is all the way in its back position. And yes, it does touch it, but as you can tell by the wear marks, it touches everywhere first before it touches the box. Um, so there's no seat space loss. This basically ties in the center console to the upper uh, panel here, the, the leather panel. And then the brackets basically secure here and here with a nice decorative uh, 10, no, sorry, quarter 20 bolt. Um, and also notice there's a slight gap here and here, so there'll never ever be wear marks of where this rubs up against the leather or squeaking or anything like that. But this thing is rock solid and it pounds. So very, very happy with the way this came out. Um, let's talk about the rest of the system. So obviously you can't change the radio in this. Um, and by the way, this is a 2019 Ferrari 488 Spider and the radio is all integrated and the factory amp is up behind here so <laughs> what we did is uh fernando made an awesome awesome amp rack that houses two moscone d2s this is where you insert the picture <laughs> and they're actually tucked up behind here in the factory amp location with the custom amp rack and the four factory bolts this um this will go in once we're done with the final tuning uh we tune everything with the dsp uh we tune the dsp with the uh, laptop so that plugs into that and then once that goes in, you see absolutely nothing. In the doors, they're completely sound deadened. And we did um, symphony component speakers. So we made custom uh, baffles, you know, solidify all this and then seal them up to the door panels. And then we modified the inside part of the tweeter because the factory tweeters are very, very small. We've contemplated with the idea of building pods here or doing something up there. But with DSP tuning and time alignment, we're able to get this to image really, really incredible. One thing I forgot to mention is, uh, as with all our systems, we added a base knob. So this is basically a subwoofer control that controls the subwoofer that I just showed you independently from the rest of the system. So that was basically... of how the subwoofer works, I probably didn't even describe it, is it actually backfires this way, loads off of this panel, and then vents down and vents out of these two um, vent holes here. So what that does is it basically, it's a transfer function of how the sub reacts to the cabin inside. And we like to do a lot of foot well boxes because you get that naturally amplification, but this worked incredibly well just because you try to mimic the way it loads off of the back panel to 
to bring the base out front and then also you just don't see anything. So you also have some storage space. Um, the two pockets still work behind the seats and you put the seat back, it's completely out of sight where before it was kind of, you could see in it in a convertible. And um, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. We did do some sound deadening in the door just to get the resonance out. And other than that, the car is pretty tight anyway. So this thing is uh, rock solid and it rocks. So really happy.